There we are, everybody. Little Hosanna. I just had an inkling that there might be something down here at the water, and there it is. Little Hosanna asserting his independence, interestingly, slightly before his sister, actually. Now, yesterday, he was around, sort of, just to the south of here, on the southern boundary. And what he did, his mum walk went off with Shongile, and they went off down towards Twin Dams, and he remained behind. And that's quite interesting, because, of course, we are, well, traditionally, we think of the... It's a very nasty log here. Traditionally, we think of the males... <laughs> I nearly drove over a big pile of his dunk. <laughs> traditionally, we think of the males as going independent after the females, but he seems to be asserting himself, well, before his sister is. And he's now lying in a hole. And we have parked next to a very evil smelling pile. But isn't it interesting? We are constantly asked about when they're going to go independent, how they're going to go independent, how does the process unfold? Is it a violent sort of exclusion from the home? Territory. And this is what happens. Eventually they start to assert their own independence. And they just start to spend more and more time away from mum until suddenly they just are away. And with these males, of course, they will have to roam very widely in order to achieve a territory one day. And that's starting to happen already with this little fellow, lying as he is in a hole. I would never have seen him lying here. If I had driven past and he had been here in that hole, I would never have seen him. And he has got, I don't know if you can see, as he moved it, Vim, he had an enormous tick on his right eye there. He was swatting at it with his foot. I think he may have got it off. Now, knowing this leopard, I don't think he's going to go, or I don't think he's going to stay in that hole for very long, so it's definitely going to be worth waiting here to see what he then gets up to. Where his mum is, we don't know. At last uh, reckoning, she was to the south of the reserve, and Shungila, of course, was stalking buffalo. Yes, that's what I said, stalking buffalo around Twin Dams. There he is. He's got rid of his little tick. Can I ask you to pull focus to the grass there, Pimpy? There we are. What is that? I can't tell what that grass is. I think it... Huh. I don't know what it is. Um, Chels, you're wondering about how we decide who goes to which sightings. We just have a discussion in the morning, Chels, about what routes we're going to take, who's going to go and search for what. I decided to come and search down here. Jamie went up to the north to see if she couldn't pick up tracks of the lions, I think, ostensibly. I think it's what she was going out to get. And, you know, then whatever luck you have, you have. So we don't know what sightings there are, of course, when we go out. We don't know what's been happening during the night. And to use the old chestnut of the Bush newspaper, we follow the news of what happened during the night on the roads, which is exactly what Jamie was doing with Tingana's tracks and what Brent will be doing with his tracks, with his track quiz there. That's all part of the old Bush newspaper. And so we were just lucky, we came down here. It was our goal to try and find one or all of these leopards of the royal family. But, you know, we could, I've many times had that goal and uh, come up with, well, empty hands, really.